Okay, hello everybody, this is Allison Gross, and welcome back to Let's Play Ultima 9. We need to load up our home gang. So in our last episode, we went and explored the Well of Souls, and found information on where we found most of, where to find the bell, book, and candle, most of which we have already found, based on some questionable ethical situations. Because I really honestly, like, don't feel that the, the messages were entirely justified there. So let's look at them one at a time. First of all, there was that guy that was a thief, and but he was stealing from rich people to feed his children. And the avatar is like, please don't talk to me, Sentinel. May bless. No. I'm gonna move this way. Hopefully, Shamina will not talk to me. There's a face spider up there. I don't care about that. Uh, where, where is the dock? Where is my boat? Uh, hi, Gazer. If I care, you. Fine, fine. Uh, ow. Okay, whatever. I don't want to fight all you guys. Get off of my. He died. Good. Dude, where is my boat? Seriously, now. Where is my boat? I thought it was supposed to be over here. It's just like... Hide hide or something? Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, hey, I did not see this. There's this dead guy here with. Uh, what is this? A halberd and a round shield. Oh, we have not encountered halberds before. It can't possibly be better than the weapon I already have, but it might be worth some money, not that I need that either. Um, plated staff, scythe, staves and pole arms. No, I, I don't actually have a halberd. In here. Black rock sword. Oh, there is something about a black rock sword, though. Uh, put that away. Uh, it says... It says you need to pick up the halberd, dude. Hey, move away from that. What, are my bags full? What the? There's no way my bags are full. Look at that. Look at how that bag is not full. Oh, I guess I just can't take stuff. Can I get out this way? Yes, yes I can. So we need to go back to Britain. Great. See, that's why you don't try to jump onto the boat when it's going up. Because that happens. And I was just lucky that I landed on the cannon. What can I help you with? Do you know where Serpent's Hold is? I hear that Serpent's Hold is just southeast of Trinzic. 
Unfortunately, there is no dock nearby. You'll have to navigate there yourself. Could you sail me somewhere? Certainly. Where would you like to go? Britain. I'll just go to Britain. So, the from the south has come the rumor of a smith who can temper and shape the densest black rock into a blade. From deep below the ground, black rock has defied the hottest smithies and the mightiest hammers. While no examples, example has appeared in the northern lands, a rumor persists among travelers from the south. Little is known of the magic contained in black rock, save that it has an appetite for living energy in both the attacker and the attacked. Uh, so is it like sucking up my energy? That's not good. Well, I suppose that's no worse than that demon sword that we had in Ultima 7. So, anyway, so there's this thief who's stealing from rich people to feed his kids. And the avatar's like, You must support yourself and not prey on others. Yes, but what if you literally can't? What if... Like, you cannot get a job. Like, no one will hire you. Or... No one, or like, you can't get a job that pays enough to like feed your kids or something. I would think it would be more like, it would be extremely unvirtuous to let children starve too. Like, I would consider it less bad to steal something from somebody who has a lot of money to feed kids than it would be to let kids starve. Creators of this game obviously have never read Les Mis or have no, are, cannot appreciate the subtlety of the moral ambiguities in that story. The second one, like, the woman who neglected her baby and it died and stuff. Well, it's not good that it died. You know, what I'm thinking about when I hear that story is that Britannia probably doesn't have the most cutting edge uh, birth control ever. You know, what if the lady didn't want to have a baby. Do, do, do. Thank you. And you. That's the tear of sacrifice, whatever the fuck that is. So, like, it is possible that she could have been forced to have a kid that she didn't want to have. And there seems to be some subtle implication that, you know, she should obviously automatically want a kid. But then there's the, like, guy who wanted to be a wizard. First of all, it's like perfectly legitimate for him to want to be a wizard. Like, what is wrong with that? He should be allowed to be a wizard if he wants to be a wizard. Second of all, being a wizard isn't really cowardly if you think about it. Because in the Ultima world, there are a lot of wizards who have gone into battle over the years. And they go into battle without armor. And with, like, when you were a wizard in, like, Ultima 4, you could use a freaking dagger, okay? I think it takes a freaking lot of courage to go onto the battlefield with cloth armor and a dagger. So fuck that. Also, I didn't realize it at the time, but the guy said when we were asking him about his old gang that his name was Matthias. 
So that's the kid who ran away from the mines of Matthias that we had the journal about. And I guess he didn't really want the journal, and... Hello, dude. Good to see you, mate. You're not gonna invite me to get drunk this time? Hey, you. Hey there, handsome. Oh, God. I'd like to go somewhere else. Where would you like to go? Actually... Well, does it matter? Like, I can sail between the two, or swim between Trinsic. the two. Okay, now I'm going to actually... Look in my journal. Which direction it said to go. Southeast. Southeast of Trinsic? What the... Alright, let's, let's set out that way. Um, oh, hi, dude. It's underwater. Oh, God. Well, I'm like two feet offshore, you kidnid. Okay, they want me to actually fucking sail the boat, but if there's no dock, how do I... Put your head up oh God, I'm like two feet offshore, you dumbass. Look at that. Oh my god, I hate you! Yeah, that water doesn't look any appreciably deeper than, like, this water. What's your deal? What the- Oh god, I hate you. I'm being very careful to make sure I can't go over that way. I don't know if, like, what I'm supposed to do, though, because if there isn't a dock, then how do I get back in the boat? forgive the annoyance. Oh, look, just turn around, because I want to go this way. you get southeast. Well, here's this land mass that I couldn't sail to. Hey, I'm going southeast, like, 
the hell? Oh wow, there's a boat thingy over there? Whoa, is this Buccaneer's Den? Can I...? I think this is Buccaneer's Dead. Yes, yes it is. I do not want to go into Buccaneer's Den. Wow, this is very... So it's kind of cool that they had um, the Well of Souls in Scarab, right? That ties it back into Ultima 7. Except kind of not, because... It, uh... Where's the dude that threw himself into the Well of Souls in Ultima 7? I mean, I guess maybe he passed on by now, but... Okay, well, I don't understand. If it's supposed to be southeast, I go southeast and I run into fucking Buccaneers dead. So this is still the island of Trinsic. So what the hell is this? It over here, or is that freaking Buccaneers dead? Okay, there's like some brief thingy here. Are you gonna stop me when I get to the island, or not? I don't even know if there is an island. It's supposed to be underwater, so. I think that's Buccaneer's Den over there. Where would you like to go? Never mind, I've changed my mind. Yeah. This is kind of a nice reminiscence to Ultima 4, too, because it the bell was buried in the ocean then, but what is that? Is that something over here? What is this? This looks kind of flooded. Oh no, there's crabs and shit here. Uh, is this anything? What happens if I go around this way? appear to be anything. There's a pile of rocks and I don't I really don't understand how I'm supposed to recognize this thing when I find it. I mean if it's frickin' underwater then stop and check that out because that looks interesting. Oh, you are down here. Oh, it's like some statue-y thing. Okay, well I 
I just fell over, and I don't know if there's a way to get back in the... Uh, okay. Hello, giant crab. <laughs> don't go randomly stabbing things. There's no reason to do that. This just looks like a sandbar full of crabs. But... I'm so insulted I'm not even going to take that. Yo, yo, where's my ship? And more importantly, how do I get back on it? There's the ship, but... Is that a piranha? Because, yep, it's a frickin' piranha. What the hell is that? Wow, that's a lot of piranhas! Take your weapon out, dude. Okay, let me just take another black potion to keep away the piranhas. Um, what freaking good is it being invisible when you guys seem to notice me anyway? Please move aside, Mr. Crab. not dead. Alright, so I'm on this thingy now. Maybe I should just sail around a bit or something. But anyway, we're out of time, so... Sailing, sailing, sailing. Time to sing a sh sea shanty, though not as good as the one by Buccaneers Den. So this will cut the video off here. Until next time, bye!